Hi, Assalamu alaikum, welcome to this online course on Introduction to Statistics. I'm your online facilitator for this topic, and my name is Sidi Faris Fuzi. Correlation and Regression In this chapter, we will cover the following topics. Correlation, define dependent and independent variable. Scatter plot, Pearson's correlation coefficient, exclude Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. Simple linear regression, least squares regression line, y e equals a plus b x. Interpretation of a, and b. Assumptions of the regression model. Use of regression model for prediction purposes. At the end of the topic, you will be able to 1. Investigate the strength and direction of a relationship between two variables. 2. Evaluate and interpret the product moment correlation coefficient. 3. Find the equations of regression lines. Correlation is defined as the statistical association between two variables. A variable is a concept or abstract idea that can be described in measurable terms. In research, variables are any characteristics that can take on different values, such as age, income, test scores height or temperature. Anything that can vary can be considered a variable. For instance, age can be considered a variable because age can take different values for different people. Similarly, income can be considered a variable because a person's income can be assigned a value. In scientific experiments there are two kinds of variables, 1, the independent variable and, 2, the dependent variable. It is important to be able to identify which is which in an experiment. What is an independent variable? Independent variable are also known as predictors, factors, input variables x variables, and right hand variables, because they appear on the right side of the equals sign in a regression equation. Independent variables are the ones that you include in the model to explain or predict changes in the dependent variable. In this context, independent indicates that they stand alone and other variables in the model do not influence them. In notation, statisticians commonly denote them using x, on graphs. Analysts place independent variables on the horizontal or X, axis. Dependent variable, just like an independent variable, a dependent variable is exactly what it sounds like, it is something that depends on other factors. For example, a test score could be a dependent variable because, it could change depending on several factors such as, how much you studied, or how much sleep you got the night before you took the test. In many studies, we measure more than one variable for each individual. For example, if you say that students who study more make better grades, you are really hypothesizing that there is a positive relationship between one variable, studying and another variable, grades. Given such data, we begin by determining if there is a relationship between these two variables. As the values of one variable change, do we see corresponding changes in the other variable? A correlation exists between two variables when one of them is related to the other in some way. A scatter plot is the best place to start.
A correlation can be expressed visually. This is done by drawing a scatter plot, also known as scatter graph, scatter chart, or scatter diagram. A scatter plot is a graphical display that shows the relationships or associations between two numerical variables. A scatter plot is a graph of the paired x, y sample data with a horizontal x axis and a vertical y axis. Each individual x, y pair is plotted as a single point. A scatter plot indicates the strength and direction of the correlation between the two numerical variables. A scatter plot can identify several different types of relationships between two variables. A relationship has no correlation when the points on a scatter plot do not show any pattern. A relationship is nonlinear when the points on a scatter plot follow a pattern but not a straight line. A relationship is linear when the points on a scatter plot follow a somewhat straight line pattern. This is the relationship that we will examine. Positive correlation, the points lie close to a straight line, which has a positive gradient or slope. This shows that, as one variable increase, the other increases. Negative correlation, the points lie close to a straight line, which has a negative gradient or slope. This shows that, as one variable increase, the other decreases. Perfect positive correlation, in a scatter correlation diagram, if all the points stretch in one line, then the correlation is perfect. If two variables change in the same direction and in the same proportion, the correlation between the two is perfect positive. Perfect the negative correlation. If the variables change in the opposite direction and in the same proportion, the correlation is perfect negative. Watch the video, for an example of how to make a scatter plot by hand. Independent variable, causes a change in, dependent variable. What would be the dependent, and independent variables here? Time spent watching television causes a change in test scores, and it isn't, possible that test scores could cause a change in time spent watching television. We see that time spent watching television must be the independent variable, and test score must be the dependent variable because the sentence doesn't make sense the other way around. When we graph, it's important to put the independent variable, and the dependent variable, on very specific axes. The independent variable, is always on the x-axis. The dependent variable, is always on the y-axis. Remember, in correlations we are always dealing with paired scores, so the values of the two variables taken together will be used to make the diagram. Music 
decide which variable goes on each axis and then simply put a cross at the point where the two values coincide. Another important component of a scatter plot is, the form of the relationship between the two variables. This example compares students' test scores, and their time spent watching television. These two variables have a negative correlation because, in general, as the number of hours spent watching television increases, the test scores tend to decrease. Instead of drawing a scattergram, a correlation can be expressed numerically as a coefficient, ranging from negative 1 to positive 1. Because visual examinations are largely subjective, we need a more precise and objective measure to define the correlation between the two variables. To quantify the strength and direction of the relationship between two variables, we use the linear correlation coefficient, Pearson's R. 